of me. They have fighter jets. Better watch your back. Here in movie spotlights curates the best hitman killer fight scenes and badass assassin fights in movies for only your viewing pleasure. Stay tuned to see our most deadly hitman assassin pick at the end. Let's go. As a sexy seductress killer Ava, played by Jessica Chastain, she is lethally beautiful and incredibly efficient killer. Management will be watching on this. Did something bad. You wouldn't have sent me if you had. working for the Black Ops organization specializing in high-profile hits. But the tables are turned as she becomes a target. Walking to the target. Breaking protocol after a deal goes wrong. Keep breaking protocol. By reuniting with her estranged family after eight Ask long years. Married, and then you just disappear for eight years. And in doing so, has signed her own it. death warrant. Every killer in business is now after her, so everyone becomes a target as attempts to rescind a kill order a few times. Lovely morning for it, Ava. I'm not going to be able to protect you a second time. Ava turns to the organization that hires her, so will she succeed in her fight for survival? I don't want to shoot you! Mind if I shoot you? Ever wonder what would happen if you were a highly trained hitman and you had to fight for yourself? This is what we see in Gemini Man at number 9, who is Will Smith known as Henry Brogan in the film. We see the digital DH younger version of Henry as he battles his older, more experienced over the hill self. He made you from me. How smart is Henry as he battles his clone who is able to predict his every move as he is hunted by his younger self clone who is younger and faster. I mean, who will save you from yourself? Who is the clone dub named Junior? Because I'm the best. You are obviously not the best. With no offspring, Henry is puzzled until Junior's DNA is tested and it's 100% identical. Found to be the subject of Clay, played by Clive Owen, to replace Henry once he retires. How does it play out? Can you win against yourself? This is just the beginning. In our number eight pick, we see Dylan O'Brien as Mitch Rapp in American Assassin, is frantically searching for his girlfriend on the beach where they are on vacation amid the carnage where a jihadist cell begins to attack on civilians with assault rifles to find she's killed by terrorists. Rap is now desperate to seek revenge over her death. Consumed by vengeance, Rap is set on avenging his girlfriend's murder. He enlists as a CIA black ops and is trained by Michael Keaton as Stan Hurley, Cold War veteran who trains Rap to stop a mysterious operative on starting a world war. As Rap visits internet messaging boards frequented by terrorists responsible for her death and secures an invite to meet face to face in Libya, Rap prepares to go in for the kill but is ambushed by the US Special Forces and he is totally upset he's denied his vengeance. I trusted you. You should have come for me. Now we see at number 7, as this is nobody, Hutch Mansell, played by Bob Odenkirk, intervenes after a woman is harassed by a gang of thugs on a bus. He is pursued and becomes a target of the vengeful drug lord. I'm gonna mess you up. <laughs> and then he reveals to his family he was a former assassin. I'm trying to keep the damage to a minute. Would you even take a swing? Could have taken her, Dad. I work for some very dangerous people. Everybody get to the basement. What is happening? Employed by intelligence agencies to kill people considered untouchable. Don't call 911. This awakens his dormant lethal instincts and skills as he goes to save his family. They came after my family. To ensure he won't be underestimated as nobody again. Have bad ideas. Good ideas. The Special Six Underground are six untraceable mercenary agents, which we see fittingly at number six. The six are chosen, each for their highly trained skills created by billionaire leader known as One, played by Ryan Reynolds as the mastermind. Six form an anonymous vigilante squad only known as Ghosts, totally off the grid from all around the globe as their paths are arrays which helps them change the future by taking down untouchable criminals and terrorists. Number two Good. is a super sexy badass played by Melanie Laurent. Number three, a hitman played by Manuel Garcia Ruffalo. 
free running Paka as number four as Ben Hardy, super slip operator as Doctor as number five, and death Hello, defying boys. number six driver Dave Franco, who was replaced after being killed by a number seven ex Delta Force military sniper played by Corey Calkins. No more criminal records. As they blend in to disappear, Death. taking out truly evil people. But what about number one super secret Take weapon? I have the strength in Magnet! Grenade! Coming in at number five is Hitman Agent 47. We see a genetically engineered Hitman assassin codenamed Agent 47 as tattooed on the back of his neck and played by Rupert Friend. 47 is a culmination of decades of research and 46 earlier agent clones with unprecedented strength, speed, stamina and intelligence as the agent program was created by Dr. Peter Levenko, played by Ciaran Hines who is in hiding. This elite super soldier assassin with vibes of Captain America have been given a target in a mega corporation led by antagonist John Smith played by Zachary Quinto to unlock the secret code of Agent 47 to create an army of killers whose powers surpass that of his own. In his hunt, he tracks down creator's daughter Katia played by Hannah Ware whose real name is Quattro Monti, French for 90. Excuse my French, if the pronunciation wasn't great. And is far more advanced than 47. See awesome scenes where 47 and Katia take down the Syndicate's forces using their heightened senses in combat. This advantage is not his body, it's his mind. What is the secret to overcoming this powerful enemy? With an all-star cast in The Expendables 3, this movie comes in at number 4. Expect epic action in this film, which is about Sylvester Stallone as Barney as he beefs up his team with new blood for an impending battle to take down Conrad Stonemax, played by Mel Gibson, the notorious arms trader, who, together with Barney, founded The Expendables years ago and now is on a mission to wipe out Barney's superstar team. You want them, kids? Come get them. Now younger, faster, and way more tech-savvy, but the veteran Expendables are not happy and battle it out with the younger mercenaries until they realize they need to work together to take down Stonebanks. We're the only ones crazy enough to get you out of it! How hard can it be to kill 10 men? And his henchmen, as the older generation show the younger generation how it's done. Take the stairs. To see tomorrow. In our number three pick is Travis Conrad, played by Ethan Hawke, who is an assassin seeking wife. redemption after giving his entire life to the CIA agency Red Mountain. Until he is betrayed as his family is murdered by the agency to keep him from quitting Red it's Mountain. Family. He's now been given a second chance at life, mysteriously resurrected with regenerative surgery, giving him just 24 hours to live. What's happening to me? You're gonna die. You have less than 24 hours to live. To finish one last job so that he can live to see tomorrow. We see the countdown clock embedded in his arm with his time left to kill. What will happen when it reaches zero? I like being followed. In our penultimate movie with the most awesome killer fight scenes is Tom Cruise plays Jack Reacher, who, as he seeks out his friend Major Susan Turner, played by Kobe Smulders. My men were shot by one of our own. Jack Reacher for Major Turner. Major Turner's been arrested. On what charge? Espionage. To learn that she has been accused of murdering two soldiers now arrested and accused of espionage. He's here to kill you. He's been set up. In this major government conspiracy, Reacher believes someone is after them, as his own attorney is murdered and Reacher's framed as a killer and sent to prison, as the skillful assassin hunts him down and now Reacher is on the run as a fugitive. We have one more best hitman killer fight scene with badass assassin fights in movies on our list to go, but before we reveal the movie spotlight's best pick, let me know in the comments what video ideas you'd like to see next and we'll see if we can make them happen. What the f Our top pick is this action comedy, The Hitman's Bodyguard. I've extracted my client. 
cleanup is required. We see a second class bodyguard for hire who is Ryan Reynolds as Michael Bryce after a disgraceful incident who was assigned to get Darius Sinclair, played by Samuel L. Jackson, to the International Criminal Court from Manchester to Hague. In this impossibly funny hitman flick, and as Darius is the only one with enough guts and evidence to testify against the Belarusian dictator, racing against the clock while they make it before the trial deadline, before they kill each other. The only way Bryce and Kincaid don't make it is if they kill each other first. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out some of the top recent My action bad. movies by clicking on the screen right now.